We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors got another Black Series figure review. The brand new ish Previsla. And looking forward to this one. Um, this is one that definitely had the potential to be, you know, up in the figure of the year contention, but uh, I don't know, yet to be decided. Um, you know, they did use that old Mandalorian, older Mandalorian sculpt for the for the body, um, which has probably been a letdown for a lot of people, but I'm excited to bust him open and take a look. Artwork on the side, if we can get rid of the glare from my ring light. There we go. And he's number 17. Artwork on the back. Little bio there. If you would like to pause and have a little read, you can do that. Head sculpt looks pretty solid, but we'll get a closer up look as we bring the camera down and uh, take a look inside. Let's bust him open. All right, folks, here is Pre Vizsla out of the box. And yeah, definitely, definitely sort of mixed feelings about this one, just straight off the get-go. And yeah, it does, like many others have reviewed and stated, it does come with the uh, the choice of using that older body. Um, the old Django Fett, basically. Um, slight tweak, mostly from the, uh, like the Mandalorian loyalist and the Death Watch trooper that came out a few years back. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably, probably the main gripe. Otherwise, I'm happy to have previously in the collection. I think he's going to look cool on the shelf, um, just sort of with a couple of Death Watch Troopers. Um, we've just had the, uh, vintage collection version come out too, which is just, you know, peak, beautiful figure, all round, really, really nice. Um, so we'll go through the accessories before we talk about the figure too much more. Uh, it does come with this jet pack, which is nice. That looks solid. So obviously this is a new piece. It does have those parts of movement there. And you can attach the flames that have come with various figures. I dare say. Yep, the rocket does come out, so that's awesome. And there is a clip on the back. We should be able to house... The dark saber blade, maybe. Not sure. I'll look into that as I go along. Cause it's uh, yeah, maybe it will. Maybe it's meant to be a little bit tighter. It doesn't look like it's split. It's a separate piece. But uh, yeah, we'll take a look at that as we go along. But yeah, overall jetpack's nice. As I was just holding the dark saber, this is the same dark saber that came with uh, Moff Gideon. No need to, no need to change it because it's the same thing. Obviously, you can unpeg the blade. That looks pretty decent. I did drop one, but we've got two of these blasters. And they'll fit nicely in his holsters on the side. Just gonna put them in right away, so I don't drop them on the floor again. <laughs> and last but not least, we've got his helmet, which that looks damn good. Give him absolute credit for that. Yeah, it looks fantastic. That is nice, really nice. Death Watch logo there on the on the forehead. The helmet itself looks great. Before everyone yells at me, because he didn't come with a cape, um, <laughs> I've got that comment a couple of times on the three and three quarter one on the vintage collection previously. Where's his cape? Um, yeah, go back and check it out. The Clone Wars later seasons, I think it was season four. Um, yeah, he didn't have a cape with this particular outfit. This is sort of later on. Season two he did, absolutely. But, so we're getting into the figure. Let's take a look at the head sculpt. Now that looks fantastic. Really good. That scar down the face. Very, very pronounced. It's not that pronounced in the vintage collection version, but it is smaller. So, but this looks really good. The sort of stubble on the beard. 
the real short, short buzz cut started to grow back in. And he's been through some stuff at this at this point of time. And go through the chest there, you know, marking the death watch marking. Not necessarily the death watch. That might be uh, Clan Vizsler actually. So he does have a different belt to the other Mandalorians. So that's a that's a unique piece to this figure. But yeah, the rest of the figure is just reused from. Well, most of the legs, the top of the legs are from the Mandalorians because they had to recast with the with those built-in holsters. Django Fett doesn't have those. But the bottom of the legs, Django Fett, pretty sure the arms and gauntlets are. Now again, they've, it's it's one of these ones with the uh, the wires that tend to snap all the time. A few figures with those wires have snapped off, which is a bit of a bummer, but. Is what it is. Oh, we have the jetpack. Pop that on. So it looks pretty good. Arm him up with the dark saber. So why wouldn't you? You know, we'll put the helmet on. Now, be honest. Aesthetically, that's a nice-looking figure, man. Like that looks good. I do love the look of that. That's just a that's just a badass looking Mandalorian. I, to be honest, I really like it more than I thought I might. Just that could have been on that better sculpt, you know, with the butterfly hinges in the uh, shoulders, and you get a better range of movement out of him. Look, this could have been great. This could have been absolutely marvelous. You know, if that new body was rocking this sort of. Rocking the deco, the helmet, the jetpack. Probably could have been a figure of the year. People love their Mandalorians. Myself included. Clone Wars, you know, it's ticking all the boxes. Just that, just that one, one choice. And the only thing that makes me think that is it's, uh, it's one that's sort of been in the queue for a long time. Um, they've just finally found a spot to put him. It seems to happen all the time. Every now and then when you get a... Uh, figure that comes out that probably feels a little bit more dated than it should be um you know maybe they've been able to update the head you know given that the head sculpt is actually really good it looks looks fantastic nice and modern um but yeah maybe it's one that was sort of worked on quite some time ago and uh yeah it's finally had a slot for release that's that's sort of my thoughts anyway now, I want to see how this clip works. Okay, maybe it's just mine. Yeah, well, it does, it does sit there. Maybe not perfectly. And we'll go and check out some more reviews and see if other people have managed to get that to work a little bit better than I have here. It's meant to be pointing down. Nope, I don't want to lose it. No, it won't fit in there that way. Yeah, I'll go. I'll check out some reviews and see what other people have done and see if whether it's just a little bit dodgy on my end, but it shouldn't be. It looks fine. But at the end of the day, he's going to hold it anyway. So yeah, like I said, articulation. Uh, yeah, just the ball joint in the, the head, uh, the hinge at the neck being sort of older, ball hinge in the shoulders, uh, ball hinge in the elbows, ball hinge in the wrists, torso joint at the, at the bottom there, ball socket joint in the thighs, swivel cut at the thighs, double joints in the knees being the sort of old pinned legs, and then the ankle articulation with the rocker joint. So yeah, kind of standard, but um, yeah, definitely feeling the age of the of the sculpt of this one. But you know, for the shelf, I think he's going to look absolutely damn fantastic. Um, if this came out like four years ago, <laughs> it would be figure of the year, hundred percent. But um, 
yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. Please drop a comment down below. I think I've covered all the bases of this one. Uh, yeah, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you for some more reviews very, very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.